had to tighten that top link, adjust it in so that the big tool rack would be level at the back of the tractor. Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. I'm Chad. In today's video, we've got these cherry rounds to split behind me. These are about 12 to 16 inch rounds. So we'll be splitting them today with our new splitter. So there's the split fire 3465 with the four way wedge. You're gonna try it out today. These are the perfect size rounds to try that out. We'll see if they end up being just a little bit bigger than we're used to. I kind of like to split my wood a little smaller and I'll put a link up above to the video that explains why I like my firewood pieces a little bit smaller. I've also got the big tool rack on the back of the Ford Workmaster there. That's where we'll be loading the splits and then we'll take those up in the wood pile and stack them up. Let's get started. One of the things you'll notice about the 3465 compared to our 2265, instead of that directional valve that chooses between the log lift and the splitter, there are actually two separate valves on this machine. Same Honda GX engine though. I just did a video recently about a comparison between the new Splitfire 3465 and the Splitfire 2265 that we've had for a number of years. I'll put the video link to that up above. Now this is not even past the break-in period. In fact, there's only about half a tank of gas in there. That's all I put in it since it was brand new. So we're not gonna run this at full throttle today. We'll run this at maybe half throttle until we get to the break-in period, then we'll change the oil. Scuffing up this brand new paint. First four pieces. Back all of Well, we did it. We wore the paint off. We did three rounds there. It was really nice to get four one quarter pieces out of each round, but these are a little bit bigger than what I would normally split using the 2265 because with the 2265 and the two way wedge, I'm aiming that knife specifically at the size piece I want to split. And remember, we're only running the engine at maybe half throttle because we're still in the break-in period. But there you can see that paint worn off the knife. Beautiful machine though. All right, we're gonna keep at it here. Get the rest of that little ranger bed done in no time at this rate.
that did go really fast. The splitter with the four-way wedge makes a huge difference. Again, these are my initial impressions and these may change over time, but my initial impression is that when you've got that four-way wedge on, if you had two people working, you could go a ton faster than what I could. You could see that pass through the wood gave me four pieces, but then I was getting that four pieces out of the way before I rolled up the next one. If somebody else were removing those four pieces while I was getting staged for the next one, that would be a process that you could continue and get through a lot of wood really fast. All right, now that we've scuffed up the machine and we've got our four-way wedge paint worn off, we're gonna put the two-way wedge on and we will attempt to split one of those big maple rounds. And remember, we are operating this machine just at about half throttle until the break-in period is done. So I'm not positive how it'll work on that big maple at half throttle. Got to clean the space out around here so that this pin can go through. That looks better. That is a pretty big round. I know it's deceiving on the camera. Pretty big. <laughs> The ants this year are just unbelievable. So as I've said in the past, these pieces we will not put into our wood pile. We don't want those ants to uh, take over all the wood. So what I'm going to do is just throw these on the ground over there towards the woods and let the ants abandon ship. And then we'll split this up another time. But these ants are even different than those ones we had last time. These ones have like a reddish tint. The other ones were all black. These ones have reddish tint. So that's strange. Well, that was certainly fun trying out the new splitter. The four-way wedge definitely makes things go faster on those smaller than 16 inch rounds and the even the two-way wedge on that huge maple i could tell a difference in the tonnage now like i said in the previous video the 2265 is an 18 ton machine this is a 20 to 22 ton machine they have the same honda gx engine but somehow i could tell that this machine was pushing through that hard maple round a little bit better than the 2265 did so very impressed on this first run probably less than an hour of runtime definitely less than an hour of runtime probably more like 20 to 30 minutes of runtime but it was a lot of fun starting to get dark here i need to get that wood up into the woods then we've got to put both splitters away for the night because i had both of them out for videos today thanks for watching if you found this video informative and entertaining please give us that big thumbs up down below it helps out the channel helps out this video leave those comments down below again not many people know about the split fire brand for some reason but i consider it just a tremendous brand you know these are not called commercial log splitters but if you look at a lot of log splitter places that rent log splitters split fire is very commonly one of the brands that they rent because they just hold up they're well built they're heavy duty um so these are called homeowner grade or maybe semi-commercial grade but these are great machines